good morning and welcome to another video so today we are going on a little fam outing well, when i say fam it's like everyone but dad dad has decided to stay at home and paint but today we are going on a family outing again minus dad to the new forest wildlife park so the New Forest Wildlife Park is in Ashurst, which is about a 10 minute drive from Southampton. And where we're based, it's about half an hour. So it's really close to Southampton, based right in the New Forest, hence the name. It did used to be called the Otter and Owl Sanctuary. And then I don't know how, but it got changed, it changed its name. I think they brought in more wildlife, more things to see. So they changed it to the New Forest Wildlife Park. And yeah, it's essentially just all things wildlife. So you've got, it's essentially like a zoo, but it's just sort of wildlife. So you've got bison, you've got deer, you've got owls, frogs, all sorts of things from around nature. And they do sort of like talks and feeds as well, just like sort of a, a normal zoo. Um, but it's sort of more, it's like a smaller sanctuary for, for the wildlife. So it's a really good thing to go to if you're in the New Forest. Now we live in the New Forest, we are pretty much locals, but I don't actually remember the last time I went here. When, I think the last time I went here, it was the Otter and Owl Sanctuary. So it was years ago, because I don't actually know when this changed names, but it was ages ago. So it will definitely be new to me, but this will be a fun day out. Arrived and it's actually quite busy. We weren't expecting it. Oh, he says, I'm not staying long. Hurry up. Hello. <laughs> Putting on a show for us. It's another one. Oh, has that got an injury on its side? Oh, it's a leaf. <laughs> My God. Mum's great commentary. <laughs> so we've just seen some otters, so now we're heading down into the main event to see some more things. There's some otters in there having a little nap, having a little snooze. They are the Asian short clawed otters. This is where they live. There's meant to be some mice in here. Eurasian harvest mouse. Let's see if I can spot them. I don't think I can, I think they're hiding. <laughs> this is a European pole cat. There's one asleep, and then there's one that's just come close to us. It's just there drinking some water. There he is. Staying hydrated, Mr. Pole Cat. There we go. Where? Oh, here he is. Oh, hello. Hi. He's right against the back fence, so. <laughs> We're just surrounded by woodland, forest trees, area, really. forests. It is the new forest, mum. <laughs> this is the map of the wildlife park. There is so much here. There is a lot. I mean, I don't remember what it was before, but I know that so much has since been added on to it. There's a lot more wildlife to see. Just down there is a burrowing owl. Just. Oh, Getting some rays, some sun rays. I'm not sure if it's the only one. What was that one? We also have Western honeybees, which I think are just in that, I don't know what you call it, bee pen box. But there's some over there. It was really raining earlier and now it's, the sun's coming out and so should all the animals 
Here's one animal. Doesn't really come out much. <laughs> I think this is a frog pond. Where are the frogs? There's mum and a cute flower. Oh, Ribble was found distressed and abandoned by dog walkers. Just found some owls. They look like Hedwig. They're just chilling, looking gorgeous. They're just they're minding their own business. I love how they just sit there. The smaller one is the male. That must be what I look like when I just sit on my bed and do nothing. I just sit there, <laughs> minding my own business. The sun is coming out. We've just walked into the deer enclosure. We're waiting to see some. We don't think we will because they don't like to sort of come out and say hi. But we'll keep trying, we'll keep looking. There's a barn owl up there, I don't know if you can see it, it's called Twiglet. It's like there. There's otters, some cute little otters. Well, they're just rolling around in the mud, like our cats at home. They might be going to the Bless them. <laughs> it's like they're trying to get rid of an itch. <laughs> That's what they do when they go to the toilet. They throw it all in the air and everything. They're juggling mud. Just a seg round there. Oh, hello. Up there is a pine martin which I do not know what they are, so I will have a look. There's some deer right in the corner there, hiding away from everyone. <laughs> Probably all from like the loud noises of like the children. Up there is a Eurasian eagle owl. And again, it's just chilling. Not a care in the world. This is the opposite of the Helsinki experience. <clears throat> they just eat bits of fun. Staring at us. It's funny when they eat and then they just stare at us. Oh, little baby. He wants some attention. Both looking like, is this dinner? She didn't stroke this morning. Why didn't she? That must be her favourite. All right, Mum. Oh, Bless you. <laughs> We're just walking over to the deer again because they're just being fed. That's so cute. Oh, look at them all. That one over there is a bit of a handful, it looks like, just constantly playing around. <laughs> so she's at six years old now, our bonus. Ooh. And then we've got our singing, then from here, who's got the heart shaped white bottom, but she does have a tail. Um, she also resembles the barrel of the um, And then all the rest are fallow dish, and including the ones that are lazy and not oh. um, and then solos are new. Thank you. 
coverings. That we that we put maybe a new one. That's why they're at this off. Uh, only small. And then Brucey Boy on the end is about four years old now. Yeah. It's that one right at the end, the big one. Bruce. There's some um, boar and bison. I think that's a bison. And then there's a boar over there. And then yes, Matthew just made a joke saying we are bored. Lol. We're not really because this is interesting, but we had to make a joke. <laughs> God, that's massive. This will be what um, mum will look like when she comes off our cruise because she's had 10 meals a day. That is a common barn owl. It looks like it's asleep. We're just eating some lunch and the sun's come out and now it's really hot. And then we're gonna go back in and see some more wildlife. Isn't that right, Matthew? See some more boar. Yeah, because um, Matt's not bored. <laughs> so we've come back in and now we're going to Wallaby Wood in the hope that we see a wallaby. Well, how many is wallaby can climb There are lynxes. What's the plural for lynx? Lynx eye? Lynx eye. <laughs> lynxes. There's meant to be some in here. I can't see any. Oh, they. There's a grey wolf right there. Oh, you can really see it when I zoom in. There's quite a few of them. There's five. Oh, look, this one's coming nice and close. Fun fact these are apex predators, meaning there's no sort of predator above them. So I won't want this as a pet, even though they do look like really cute huskies. <laughs> they are not. But, um, it helps their body regulate temperature. Grey owls, and now mum's gone on about the wolves. She spoke to a ranger and is now asking, giving us loads of information, you should become a park ranger at the wildlife park. The otters have ice pops when it's really hot. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it cools them down? Yes. And they change their water three times a day sometimes. Ah. Oh. So, yeah. We're now just in the gift shop, looking at things that are for sale. Oh, look at the otters. This is my favourite. There's some new Forest Wildlife Park merchandise. A lanyard and a tote bag. As well as some cute fluffies for the wildlife. So that's it at the wildlife park. We've done all of that. And yeah, it was like a nice day out. So I would definitely recommend if anyone is in the New Forest area to definitely check out the New Forest Wildlife Park. So we are back from the wildlife park. It was such a lovely day out. We had a really nice time. It was lovely to see some wildlife animals and just have a nice time with the fam. I also just wanted to talk a bit about what they do there at the wildlife park because a lot of people just think it's there just to see animals and, and take photos of them and, and that's sort of all they're there for. It's really not. There are so many different projects that the team there are doing to conserve them. There are just so many good things that the wildlife park are doing. So just looking at the information on their website, so I'm just going to read a few things that, that they do and that they're really proud of which I think are amazing that some of these projects that they do so um, the wildlife park is the first park in the UK to send a captive bred giant otter to an international breeding program abroad the otter was called a katuma 
and she was sent to Emperor Valley Zoo in Port of Spain, Trinidad in 2013 to meet his specifically specially chosen mate Susie and they also work closely with the regulatory authorities to make sure that the animals receive the best care so some of the animals such as the European bison may also be included in international captive breeding programs in the future and then it says these programs are strictly controlled to ensure good breeding stocks are available for species under threat. They also do many other conservation projects which are the rehabilitation of injured and orphaned native species, so um, otters, owls, wild cats, those sort of things. They also do the captive breeding programs for European bison, they do the Eurasian otters, they do water vole, and more importantly as well, they, behind the scenes, they work closely with um, the vets, the police, the RSPCA, and other organisations to help rescue injured and abandoned wild animals and bring them back to good health. So they do, like as a company, they do some really, really good things. And it's not even like an expensive price either for, so an adult, it's 14 75 And you can also, also get like memberships there. So I believe an adult membership, like just a standard adult membership is about 54, 58 pounds. So if you go there a couple of times a year, you've already sort of done what the normal adult price would be it's like if you've just paid an adult price each time rather than the membership so i think it is really good value for money and all the it all goes towards the the conservation and the healthcare for the animals so i think it's a really good place to go to if you're ever in the new forest area as i said it's about 10 minutes from the central southampton like a 10 minute drive so it's really not that far if you're ever in the southampton area and yeah, it's just a good thing to do. You, you don't even have to spend a whole day there. You can spend a few hours there. There's like food facilities as well. There's things to do for children, like play parks and that sort of thing. There's also, you can also have children's like birthday parties there as well, which is really cool. So definitely something to do if you're in the area. But that's it from me. I hope you had a lovely day with me at the Wildlife Park and I'll see you in my next video.